Hey YouTube, GKD614 coming at you. Um, I was recently got my first tag um, and I'm really, really happy about it. Um, and the tag was from Kinks and Curls LC1. That's my girl because I, I, she's like one of my favorite people on YouTube. And uh, she tagged me, so thank you. And it's about um, hair resolutions. And the question was, let me go back and look. The question was, what are your hair resolutions for 2010? And if you've received this tag, wait, if you receive this message, you have been tagged. And, you know, whatever. All that great stuff. So, thanks, Kinks and Curls. I'll see one. And um, I have my little list of my hair resolutions. And you can see my little sketches there. This is actually an idea of a tattoo that I want. I know it seems weird, but like a dandelion. It's really sketchy, but I really kind of want that dandelion tattoo. Oh, and then on the back, I was coming up with like some type of symbol or representation for the day that I went natural. I don't know. This just reminds me of like the curl kinks and coils. So I was thinking about it. It's obviously, they're not perfected. Like they're just rough, quick sketches. So, but anyways, that's not the point. I just want to share those with you guys where you're like, why is she with all this random stuff on her paper? But anyways, um, my number one hair resolution for 2010 is to stop buying products rather to invest in economy size of staple products such as the onion honey hemp conditioner and my kinky curling not today like over the summer i'm going to definitely purchase the 32 ounces of the both of those conditioners because i truly truly love them and instead of like buying sample packs you know of stuff that i don't like like i tried karen's body beautiful i didn't like it i tried kamaza care it's okay i don't if you like a actual name brand product it's okay i just i'm rather go to the grocery store and just be a mixtress i guess is what they call it and just mix my own stuff and use you know i like the honey hemp and i like the not today and i like my suave conditioners so you know buying and stocking up on those products is definitely one of my resolutions is to stock up on products on on staple products and invest my money into that rather than investing and trying new things so which brings me to my second point because i was going to say except for me trying to find a new deep conditioner and that was my second new year's resolution which is find a great deep conditioner whether it's store bought or homemade and i know that a lot of there's a lot of youtube videos out there of women making their own um deep conditioners like avocado coconut oil and stuff like that so i'm gonna try and play around with those i'm sorry my nose is really itching i'm trying not to scratch it but yeah um my third resolution is to trim ends less frequently and narrow it down to every three months i we was a little scissor happy in the beginning with like if I would twist my hair I would trim at least a fourth of an inch off every time so you know I realized okay just back off from the scissors let my hair just grow and then within every three months trim my ends like as long as I'm taking good care of them why do I need to co keep constantly trimming them and I'm learning now that my new comb and the conditioners are helping me lose to experience less breakage and just get the shed hairs out so I'm noticing a difference in how I'm handling my hair that I really don't need to focus on trimming that much. Um, the fourth point or fourth, uh, fourth resolution is keep focusing on the health of my hair. Always. That's important. You know, um, right now I'm actually going to wear a beret today. It's just for this little part that's on the front, but I'm going to make sure I put something to protect it. All I have in my hair right now is the Not Today and Kiki Curly. And my hair's soft, so I do like those products together. But like I said before in my other videos, my hair does not curl up really well. I mean, it doesn't clump together really well. So you can't really tell that it's there. Um, but yeah, keeping focus on my health of my hair. Just once I find the right deep conditioner, doing more deep, condition deep conditioning treatments and stuff like that. Um, oiling my scalp a lot more frequently only detangling with not today I or get some slippery elm and put it in my swab and detangle then but um, mainly just focusing on keeping my hair healthy so I can go along like I want it to be um, my fifth resolution is to do summer protective styles in a do growth oil challenge um, I showed you in my staples product a little video of everything that I actually use that I was I had the do growth oil and um <clears throat> I never really used it that much so I was thinking maybe this summer doing like a protective style challenge and a do growth oil challenge since my hair will be a lot longer there and it'll be up then it'll be a lot long easier to do twists and braids out braid outs and all that kind of stuff so starting like right after my one year mark I'm gonna twist my hair up and 
get started with the challenge and using just the dude growth oil on my scalp and you know washing it all that good stuff cold washing every other day <clears throat> after one year mark of being natural which is September 6th to 2010 um so once that comes around I am going to focus on getting a hair care routine down for sure like okay every day this is what I gotta do and figuring out truly what products I need to use every day and what products I don't need to use every day so I can figure out what are going to be wash my wash days and all that good stuff like that. Um, experiment with new styles, perfect styles, and techniques. That's one of my other resolutions. So I did a braid out recently and it lasted me four days. Well, till today and I washed it today and it, it was nice and I like the braid out thing. So I'm going to do that a lot more while my hair gets longer. And um, perfecting... The kinky curling method, which I think I did today, because I my hair drew drew it dried so much faster, and I have no white spots like I did last time. I think I perfected the right amount and the detangling and shingling process. So, but I think I'm gonna try just using the kinky curly with like leaving the not, not today in, you know, to tangle my hair, and then just getting a big old glob and rubbing it through my head and just going, so I can do like a wash and go with it for now because I don't feel like going through every section to shingle until my hair is longer and it actually matters then. Um, uh, one of my other resolutions is to educate others more on natural hair and hair care in general because a lot of my friends and women out there just don't know about natural hair and look down upon it especially like even my own family like I want to educate them my mom my aunt my grandmother is pretty much you know they rocked afros back in the day. Well, that's what they did. That was the style. And my grandfather, he seems to have a problem with my hair. So, whatever. We'll get that. But that's one of my goals, just to educate others, especially you guys. Um, and then, if I had to set a hair length goal for, you know, my 2010 resolution, um, I guess my hair length goal would be armpit length, armpit length by the end of 2010. I mean... Armpit length, you know, it's probably, I believe it's like right here. So, my hair right now falls, you guys won't be able to see, but I showed before my hair falls about neck length, I guess. So, it falls about here by a year mark. So, in the next four months, because this is actually two inches or two and a half inches or whatever, it should fall about collarbone length. I mean, I'm going to trim it every now and then. So, you know, it should fall about right here. And armpit, armpit length is right here. So, it's like. Eh. Your thumb is actually an inch. Well, an average thumb. And I think I have average. So I use that. Wait, I have a ruler right here. Sitting right next to me. So the distance between my collarbone to basically my ideal hair length. Making sure I have inches. Okay. Is. It's three and a half inches away. So. If you get three and a half inches after six months or so, six to seven months, I mean May, June, July, August, October, October, November, December. So by the end of 2010, hopefully I'll have armpit length hair to start off with my 2011 year. So I don't think that's a bad goal at all to have, especially when I'm going to be doing a lot more protective styles this year. So then my hair will be longer and it'll be easier to do. So I think that's a, a realistic goal. So we'll see how that goes. But um that's it. Um if yeah. When I get a chance I'm gonna post this video put um put who I want to tag in my comment box, info box, which is on this side, I believe. And I just wanna say thanks again, Kings and Curls, for ta for tagging me. Um this is my first tag and I really I really enjoyed it. Being able to think about the uh, ideas and what I wanted to say. So um yeah. Uh, oh, one last thing I want to say is just thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, I think I have like 37. I mean, it's not like, oh my god, I have 500 subscribers. Like, yay. I don't even promote rating and commenting and subscribing on my channel because I really, that's not my focus. I don't really care. Um, it's more of like whoever enjoys my personality, enjoys my videos, and enjoys the information that I give and wants to learn more about hair and get advice on being a college student then you know go ahead feel free to subscribe and if not then you just don't like it's not the end of the world to me so um that's why I stopped putting a rate comment and subscribe because I'm like that's not me that's I don't really care 
you might like that one video, you see that video, you rate it, and you move on with your life, and then I I'm pretty much happy. So um, I'm going to stop rambling and get ready to go to my friend's house. I'm going to supposed to be going to Victoria's house, so um, yeah, I will see you guys later. This is my ensemble. I don't really have any makeup on, I just have some lip gloss on, but um, fix up my eyebrows because I thought the hair, you know, you know how we do snooks, snookers, yeah inside. All right, so I will see you all later. Peace out. Bye.